It's on. On. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're here with uh, with Jason. We got uh, we got JJ behind the camera. Say Yo. hi. What's um, good? So you know we got a ton of snow today, and you know we're like impromptu shoot. Jason's like, I got you. Uh, we got the Hasselblad here today. Uh, we got the 80 mil lens, and we got some Portra 400. So yeah, we're just gonna shoot, and I'll show you guys the results when we're done. Enjoy. Perfect. And one, two. Yeah, look to the side. Yeah. Should I still stab or get it? Like, yeah, you wanna? Yeah, you want to the this one? Yeah, stay at the top here.
<laughs> so like yeah. But same time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little behind the scenes video. Um, we're gonna jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you guys uh, the photos we got from that shoot. Let's head over there. So we'll start off with this first one over here. And this is my top 10 selection. I, I like this photo but not as much as I do the other ones. I think the uh, the, ba the background is quite distracting, um, but I do like the way he's standing and he's kind of isolated with all the snow surrounded by him. So that's why I kind of kept this one in here. As for this one, this one is one of my top favorites. You can't see any of the buildings. Um, he's perfectly positioned in there the snow is again the reason we shot this uh, when we did was because the snow was so fresh um, and we got no other footprints around here and I am in love with this photo and I love the greens in the trees over here with the, with the fresh snow covering them absolutely incredible this is a, this is the third shot um, I didn't like the original composition of this, and I'll show you guys that. Um, it was actually quite wide, um, but I thought cropping in like this, it'll give a much more, it'll give a much di more different feel for the photo without his eyes in there, you know, and without all the distractions in the back, um, with him reading alone. I think that was a great photo and it very it very much fit the theme of like this this shoot that we did which was like isolation and alone and just you know with the white and cleanness of the area it was nice just to tidy it all up and uh, frame it like this and we're moving on down here this this is one of my other favorites with all the fresh snow. Now to be fair, um, the top over here, I cleaned it up. We got we had a little bit of that building showing in the top, but I think it was much needed to be removed um, just to open up a little bit more headspace up here and you know with just with with all the fresh snow and him dressed in all black. Incredible. And I love this photo. There we go. So these as a pair, I think, work very well together. And I do like it a lot, a lot better like this way. Um, and yeah, the colors were absolutely incredible. We were very lucky. We had a nice overcast day. So we had all this nice, beautiful, even lighting. Um, you can see kind of like the sun poking out just a little bit, highlighting the background and, you know, the photos are tack sharp, the portrait colors really doing their work. And again, you can see the frozen lake in the back and just a beautiful out of focus, uh, background. It just kind of pulls you right into the center and... The focus is right on Jason. So we got these two as well. And I, particularly for these two images, I was really drawn in to the red in the Sumach tree. Um, you know, you got a little bit of red skin tones going on, especially because it was a cold day. Um, we got a little bit of red in his jacket. And I think with the, with the, with the flat lighting that we had, this contrast and pop of color worked really, really well um, for these two photos. Uh, so let's see. 
There we go. And these are two different ones that I tried out. I think I do like the close-up better just because I can see the little buildings in the back here. At least they're more noticeable for me. Um, but overall, I'm extremely happy with both of these images. And... And yeah, again, you see the greens kind of poking out from the trees behind and just this foliage and just adding that little extra pop of color um, was really nice. And so for these last two images, we, we went into this little walkway over here. Um, you know, perfect time to add a little bit of flair to the images in a safe in a safe way um, and I think these photos also came out really nice and I'll just pop out both up here oops there we go and again the colors we've had we had this day with again with that fresh snow particularly I think these photos work extremely well and you can see the colors with the flames coming out in the back especially with this one you can get that sense of depth and kind of like the solo adventure kind of vibe um, and yeah overall I'm extremely happy with this thank you again Jason for uh, even wanting to come out in this uh, in this cold but hey we made it happen um, thank you again for JJ for filming the behind the scenes um, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this let me know if you in enjoyed this video of this kind of style it's something new I'm trying out but if again if it's something that you guys want to see I'll be more than happy to take you guys along on my journey um, if you guys want to see the photos I will be posting them on my Instagram um, you can find that all in the description Jason's uh, Instagram will also be in the description and so will JJ so make sure to go give them a follow and if you guys have any questions send me a DM on Instagram or leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys on the next one